What's up everyone? So today we're going to bring you a really cool little tool. If you're a woodworker, a wood carver, or just somebody that's trying to make a little extra money on the side, stick around and I'm going to show you this Arbor Tech reel. This thing is totally cool. It's called a turbo plane. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm going to show you how I made this waving flag with this. Let's get this review started. Every once in a while, I like to bring you guys cool tools that you might not have known about or seen before. Now, we have shown you this before. This was the Squire. It was the chainsaw disc that I used to make the last flag. It ran about $30, but I wanted the holy grail of wood carving. Now, you don't just have to make flags with this. You can make chairs, bowls, whatever, spoons, whatever you want to do with this Arbor Tech. I got this on Amazon. It costs $150. You can find them a little bit cheaper on other sites for about $119, but was too late for me I already paid the 150 now we're gonna carve some wood we're gonna show you how this thing works but basically it is a hand planer it's called a turbo plane right all you have to do is throw this on your grinder like so now this will work on just about any four four and a half inch grinder but they do give you a couple attachments that if you have a smaller grinder uh, it'll work just fine so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this slab of wood right a bunch of two by four pine Ran me about $15. We're gonna carve this up. We're gonna make a flag, just like we did in the last video. But this way, it's gonna be a lot easier, a lot faster, and a lot smoother. Now again, we're just making a flag here, but you can make anything with this. It's really cool, but I am going to carve out my high and low spots. I have them marked here on the flag. Should go pretty quick, but I am going to tell you this as well. Please have respect for this turbo planer it will rip your fingers off if you get too close max rpm you can go on this 12,000 that's no joke so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I start to carve these out and I'll be honest with you there's a little bit of a learning curve so you want to take it slow and when you're going against the grain if you go too far down into the wood it will grab and it'll kick it back so you want to go nice and easy with it I will also show you a close-up look outside while I'm using this a little bit darker in here and it's very cold right now so I'm not going outside right now you can see it's already taken a lot off and what's nice about this is you don't have to worry about those massive gouges that I did with that chainsaw wheel check that out you have the dips you have the divots but again you do not have those giant gouges once you start smoothing that up it's just smooth so smooth check it out you could take tons of wood out at one pass awesome now after I am done planning this and getting all of my low spots out of the way what I'll do is I'll actually take another disc go over it and then I'll smooth it out with about four different grits of sandpaper check it out look how fast you can go yes this is actual speed I'm a speed demon when it comes to carving wood but in all seriousness now, you can take a lot of wood or you can take very little amounts of wood. But you can definitely feel the weight on this, 8.8 .8 ounces. And another thing about this is that I really like, you can sharpen this and I'll show you how to do that here towards the end of the video. But this is supposed to be a lifetime will. Now, this is not a sponsored video. This is not, you know, I paid 150 bucks for this thing. And after using this for quite some time now a lot actually it is well worth the money on this and you can make chairs out of these you know the nice little divot for the butt but I would definitely take it slow at first you know I'll go crazy but look how easy that cleans up and again none of those gouges that I had with that chainsaw disc is it three times more expensive four times more expensive yeah it is but I'm telling you it's gonna make your life a lot easier this flag here probably cost me $15 to make just in the wood, not including any of the tools or anything, but you could probably sell them for around $300, which I have. And another nice thing, which I'll show you here towards the end, is you're not having to worry about the sharp edges because it's actually smooth. It's only on the front plate of this planer that will cut. Again, you got three blades on there, but check out how smooth it is. 
Those blades are really sharp coming right out of the package. So you don't have to worry about sharpening them when you first get it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this outside. It does make quite a mess, but there's no dust. It's chips. That's why I like. We're just going to take this piece of pine. You can use this on any type of wood, really. I'm going to show you how this will carve out. Again, if you're making a bench or a seat, you know, it's just really cool. Check it out. I'll get in it on another angle for you so you can see that a little bit better. That sunlight's hitting it, but we're going with the grain. Real nice. Now, if you are going against the grain and you get down too far, too fast, it will want to jump on you a little bit. See if we get a different angle here. And I could take off more if I wanted to. But again, I'm just going to let the machine do the work. Even though it does make a mess, you get a lot of chips. I'm really happy it's not dust. But you see, you got to be careful. You see, I took that big gouge out right there. It's a little hard to do when you got the camera in your way. But I could go like this and make lines if I wanted to. Those planer knives are coming right down on that. And again, if you're making a bowl, this is what you could do. But if I were to tilt that all the way up, you know, it is not going to gouge because it's very smooth on the edge there. Beastly. Beastly, beastly. I had already mentioned that these blades are extremely sharp when they come out of the package, but I'm going to show you how to sharpen those. Very simple here. And again, just a closer look. If you go down on that edge there, it's smooth. It is not going to cut out your piece of wood. But let me show you how to sharpen these here. It cost me about $6 for this tool. Got this on Amazon as well. Also put a link in the description below for you. But this is the fine file. It's diamond. And all you got to do to sharpen this is place it in like so with a little bit of water and go back and forth a few times. It doesn't have to go non-stop for an hour. Just a couple times, sharpen that up, they get razor sharp again. And again, this blade is meant to last a lifetime. This is not one of those cheap pieces of metal that feels flimsy. This is a solid piece of steel, really impressive. And after some sanding, much, much faster. Again, you could do so many projects with this. If you're into woodworking carving, definitely check this out. If you look in or on the internet for best carving wheel, the Arbortex is going to come up. It is the holy grail. And 150 bucks might sound expensive, but trust me, in the long run, it will pay itself off. Now, if you want to see how this flag came out after it was done being painted and stained, check us out on the Instagram page where I posted the pictures at Tool Review Zone, and you can see them there for yourself. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. Check us out at toolreviewzone.com. And as always, we'll be back with more videos soon.